Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth video on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. So, let's get started with an in-depth explanation of the scene graph. So, the scene graph can be approached by going to this corner right here and clicking this arrow. Here, you will see all the assets that we've imported from the library as per the previous video. Let's try and click this one here. So this is the starting ground. So if you were to click this eye icon, it will remove the landscape or the starting ground. Let's do this wall right here. So its name is Concrete Cast in Situation 2. So if I were to click this, much like the starting ground, it would hide itself and show everything that's behind it. So let's go ahead and reveal it once more. Here, this arrow gives us the option to collapse or show everything. And if I were to click everything beside it, or rather the eye beside it, it would hide everything underneath it, like so. Let's do the fancy small house. If I click this, everything will hide. What else can we do as an explanation or rather an example? For the wardrobe, which is inside the house right here, I believe this is the wardrobe. Let's give it a try. Nope, it's not that one. It's this wardrobe right here. So, clicking this one will hide everything inside the wardrobe. As you see, three eye icons are being hidden. If I were to click only one, just one of them will be hidden. Alright, so now let's go back outside. Of course, that's not the only capability of the scene graph. If you were to go up, right click your scene graph, you can see here saying new container. If I were to click that, it allows me to make a new folder or rather container and drag items into it. So let's go back inside again. Let's try going back into the room. Here, we can see a couple of gym equipments. Let's try this one, the sports bag man. If I click this, it only hides one specific asset. So if I were to drag it inside the newly container that we made, what else? The bike, this pull-up system, the gym, the ab roller, the speed bag, the bench, what else are we missing? All right, I guess that's about it. So the, mostly everything inside the container is the gym equipment or gym assets that we put inside the room. You can go ahead and right click and put a name on this. Let's name this the bedroom gym equipments. Now, much like a group or a whole container, I can now hide it all at the same time with just one click giving us the capability to be more organized much like this wardrobe right over here if you remember a few minutes ago that i can hide them with one click much like our newly made container which is which are the gym equipments and not just that i can also move them as one group as you see only one selection tool is showing so i, I can move them all in one place like so but of course, since most of them are using walls and ground as a host, it's a bit messed up. So let's undo that. All right, so that's one way of being organized using the scene graph. Next, I want to show you some material assets that we've downloaded appear as one container or one group, which is this one right here. This table and two chairs and some magazines on it. If I were to click this, you will see everything is highlighted, which is here, the ablaze. And we did not do this on our own. This was automatically made into a container for us. So if I were to drag it, as you see, it moves as one group or one container. In order for me to pick them individually, all you got to do is click them and click one of the parts again like this. So now I can move them separately. But if I were to move my focus away from it, like this chair again, and clicking again the ablaze container, 
it will go again as one group like so all right next up if you go back to your scene graph and click an asset you will see much more other options so let's try this one if i were to click this it will hide everything except the certain asset that we've clicked much like so next right click and zoom to selection it will automatically zoom in to the said asset all right next if i were to right click again and go to add to user library it will give us the option to put this asset into our own favorites folder so let's try that should be this one and here as you see I have two favorites of mine from the objects I've chosen and lastly the statistics here if you click this down button it will show us the current status of our 3d scene so let's go ahead and undo everything all right so I guess that's it for our scene graph video if you find this tutorial helpful please do Help me by liking and subscribing. If you have any comments and suggestions, please do comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.